indicators, uh, we dealt with uh, mold inside the vinyl. It's not on top um, to get at. It's actually right in the vinyl. And it seems like most uh, people say you just have to tear the floor up and uh, start over again. You can see the blackness coming out from the, the hole there, and it was slowly working its way out. And uh, it didn't seem to want to stop. So I thought maybe uh, if I could get some bleach in there, so we tore the, the toilet up. And, um, and I'll show you what I did with the actual floor. I um, I used a little putty knife, stuck it up under here to break the seal of uh, the glue to the floor. Got it in as far as I could go. Did that right around. Then I uh, got a little pot here with some bleach in it and uh, this little utility syringe here. So I would just draw up the bleach from there. Then I'd stick it underneath here and just shoot it right in there and let it spread out as far as it could go. Hope for the best, um, but I'll show you what our our results were very encouraging. Um, and that's the first go after a couple of hours of the bleach just reaching in there. So that really encouraged us. So uh, we just kept doing that every couple of days, uh, put some more bleach in there and slowly, slowly it was disappearing. But when we got to this stage here, it seemed to kind of be resistant to too much more. So uh, what I did is I got an old an old chisel here, quite dull. You don't want anything too sharp because you really don't want to break that floor there. And then that allowed me to get further in. I was able to push right out to here where some of the marks were. And then now to make sure that the bleach got in there, I just took a... Uh, a straw here, flattened the end of it, got it up underneath in there, and then with it flat, just pushed it right into as far as I could all the way around. And then put the, here, let me show you what I did. Put that up there, it's hard to do with one hand. Not like that. And I took the syringe again, filled it up with, with bleach, and I just stuck it right in the end and shot it down there. And then I know that it's going right up into here where I need it to go. So, uh, again, that was very encouraging too. And we, we really saw that it was getting in there and now and having some impact. One of the, uh, other problems I had is around the edge. You can see it's a lot cleaner now, but, uh, there was quite dark spots around here because this thing is just flapping in the breeze here. I realized that it wasn't going away because the bleach wasn't getting right in there. So uh, I took a number of Q-tips, soaked them in bleach, put them on top of each other, just just to get the bleach up in there, and it seemed to have quite an impact. It, it doesn't take in completely all the marks away. I think some of those marks are just creases uh, from the pressure of the toilet on them. Well, I'm hoping that's what it is. But uh, we really uh, pretty well had it after that. Um, fortunately, the pattern in the vinyl flooring that I have in the bathroom, it repeats itself. So I could see what I was shooting for. There's what it's supposed to look like. So uh, we just kept putting our bleach in there and hoping for the best. And there you go. It's I mean, it's really getting done there now. The edges. Uh, are going down and the extremities are going down and that's kind of the final result that's pretty well what it's supposed to look like a little bit of stain there uh, but that's on the outside but uh, we pretty well got it so there you go we are let it sit for a couple of weeks I want to make sure that the this thing is completely dry and uh, I don't see any kind of uh, stain coming back again. So I think we pretty well got it. So we're going to put the toilet back on and seal it all back up again. Hope for the best. I hope that uh, can help some people out there.